this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'd like to walk you through a new listing here in Dana Point. This is a 2009 310 Sundancer. It's a V-Drive boat with twin 350 5.7 liter Merc Cruiser engines, and it has bow and stern thrusters, smart craft, and DTS throttles. It's a very nicely loaded boat. Let's go ahead and get started. As we look down the sides, you can see a lot of nice shine there. At the bow, we have a spotlight, foot controls for our windlass anchor, windlass is under here, anchors on the dock because the slip's a little small. Nice and shiny again here. We have radar up top, GPS, television antenna, 60 micron polycarbonate glass that's been done within the year, stainless steel windshield, opening portholes. All the canvas appears to be in great shape. Um, the current owner has rigged up a uh, sunshade that will go all the way out um, so that you can take advantage of this back deck. There is a rumble seat that folds out out of the back here where you'd usually have a transom locker that folds out into a seat. And uh, these beautiful stainless steel staple rails have been added. And when I sold the boat to him a few years ago, there was clamp-on rod holders here, and there's a rod holder over in the gunnel there as well. There's a bait bag that goes in here, and there's a pump aboard that you can plug a little hose into and keep your bait alive. We've got a flagpole holder here. More rod holders and cup holders. You have a mount for a barbecue. You can see that in the pictures of the listing. There's a nice stainless steel Magna barbecue that goes here. This rug and all the cockpit carpet are new within the last two weeks. Um, the seats, um, it looks like you could seat five or six comfortably. This cushions up a little bit because I was just looking at the engines, which appear to be in good shape. Um, here's a teak folding table. You can remove this table, put in a filler cushion. There's a cushion that goes here, and this makes into a really nice private layout area. All the canvas appears to be in great shape. This is a sunshade that he added. Over here we have our wet bar with storage underneath, trash can there. Here we have a refrigerator. More storage for dock lines and things. Here we have small cup holders, but you see these, these are large cup holders. Um, that's for wine, so that's a really nice feature there. This is just a great area here because you have so much seating. Uh, for a 31-foot boat, it's it's really impressive. And this is a boat that Sea Ray's been making for about 10 years now, and they still make it as the 330. So it's a home run design for them. It does very well in all configurations, and I don't see them getting rid of it anytime soon. Okay, so here is your helm seats with thigh rise bolsters, supple and in good condition. Here at the helm, we have a VHF radio, bow and stern thruster control, stereo. Raymarine E80. Here's your smart craft. 238 and 239 hours. Here's an autopilot here. And you have your DTS throttles in this area. Now on this um, on this Raymarine E80, this does radar, fish finding, as well as GPS. And it's linked to the autopilot, so you can put a course in here, send it to the autopilot, and it'll take you there. Here's your remote spotlight control. Now, when you close the door, you have steps. The windshield opens, the Isinglass opens. You can go out on the bow and there's an optional layout pad that the owner is gonna bring and put on the boat. He stored it in his garage because he never uses it. All aboard! step down the stairs into the salon, you'll notice that the stairs are beautiful. They're made of teak and holly. We have a manufactured hardwood flooring here. Very tough stuff. And that's throughout the boat.
very roomy head for a boat of this size. It has an opening porthole. Shower is here with a nice mirror. Storage above and below. And a vacuum flush porcelain head and full length mirror here on the door. In this midship area, you can seat five or six people, depending on their size, that is. Um, you have a TV for them, a DVD player, storage here under all the seats, and then here as well. Um, here's the bait bag I was telling you about, and these are just a few personal items that are still on the boat. I love this little tabletop here because it can be served from the aft area or from the little um, settee that I'm sitting on. Here's your panel, Sony stereo system with disc changer, panel and ignitions. You can plug in an iPod or MP3 player, whatever type you want, but these days I get a little Bluetooth dongle that plugs in there and then I can wirelessly have Bluetooth in the boat for about 12 bucks. Now this area converts into a bed that sleeps too as well, and there's a curtain that closes it off. It's quite comfortable. Uh, the filler cushions here, this is what you'd use to convert the cockpit seating into a big layout area. Here's our settee. It slides out, becomes a bed, and then there's a table that stores under the uh, V-berth that goes in here so you can have dinner for two. You have storage here, 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 more iPod plugs, plug-ins, more storage, storage everywhere. Storage under the bed, here's more storage for you. And then this is a really nice hanging locker to hang up your clothes. Now I've slept in these boats on many occasions and you sleep in them this direction. They're really comfortable. I would, uh, I don't know, I would love this boat anytime. I'm six foot four, um, I'm standing right in the middle of the boat and my head, well you can see, my head is just barely touching, so it's a good fit. Microwave with coffee maker, sink and faucet, you have more storage, and this is a great feature, the isotherm drawer fridge. If you turn it down to its coldest setting, it'll usually freeze things, depending on what part of the world you live in. Um, but you can see it has little areas to hold wine bottles. Uh, it's just a great thing to have on a boat. Here's our regular freezer fridge here. Stove top. Opening porthole. We have LED light throughout the boat, as well as all of the original lights are LED as well, so very little power draw. All right, I think that finishes this up for us. Once again, my name is Ben Masonheimer. If you liked what you saw here, give me a call at 619-800-3491 or email me at bigboatben at gmail.com. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. One last thing, all this cockpit carpet is brand new. He paid a couple grand for this. I know I mentioned this earlier, but it is just really well done. All the seam work, everything on it's beautiful. And um, I think it's a great addition to this boat. Okay, once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the water.